Hi, I'm Eli Roth. Welcome to Trailers from Hell. Today we'll be taking a look at one of my favorite Jallo films, kind of a lost movie that Jallo fans really kind of love. It's a great movie, Pupi Avati's The House with the Laughing Window. The Italian Jallo films, that is one of my favorite, favorite subgenres of film. Um, but it's also the kind of genre that, if you don't know it, it can be a bit daunting to sort of dive in and you kind of don't know where to begin. There, there, it's kind of like the American slasher film. If you, there's so many slasher movies that if you weren't into slasher films and you saw a bad one first, you kind of wouldn't be into it. Um, Pupi Avati, this director, is actually a terrific director. He does a, a, lot, of, a lot of mostly non-horror films. He did a film called Zader and he was one of the writers on Pasolini's Sallow. Um, he directed this superb, beautiful, creepy, film, and you can tell by the titles that it's an Italian, it was never released in America, The House with the Laughing Windows. One of the things about Jallo films is that uh, they have amazing titles. The Red Queen Kills Seven Times, Your Vice is a Locked Room and Only Eye of the Key, Strip Nude for Your Killer, Seven Bloodstained Orchids. I mean, they really, like, they really go for it in the title. Uh, and this movie is a religious-themed Jallo film. There are a few of those. Lucio Filci made, did an amazing Jallo. Well, obviously did Seven Notes in Black, but uh, Don't Torture a Duckling is kind of based with some killings that are sort of based around the church. And this is about a guy who goes to restore a painting. Um, and it, they're, you know, it's sort of the, the kind of evil church people in the film, which is which a very controversial subject matter. Uh, you know, today, but even especially in Italy in the 70s. Um, but, you know, the, the Jallo films, it, it's, you know, they were really the precursor to the American slasher film. You know, they sort of didn't know who the killer was, the, the type of violence, the stabbing. Um, that kind of really came over into American slasher films in the late 70s and 80s. And this is sort of mid 70s. But, like, if you're a fan of American slasher films, you would know, the, the fans know the movie The Prowler. Now, The Prowler isn't like a mainstream movie, but for slasher movie fans, that's like really, really a pet genre film. And for Jalla movie fans, uh, a film like The House of the Laughing Windows is, is considered amongst the best. Uh, really, Mario Bava and Dario Argento are, you know, the masters of the Jallo, and Lucio Fulci made superb Jallos, and there are a lot of great ones like Black Belly of the Tarantula with Barbara Boucher. But if you're kind of looking to get into a particular genre, um, this is a great place to start. It's beautifully photographed. It's got really, really, really creepy music. It kind of keeps you guessing up until the end. It's, it's almost got a don't look now kind of feel to it. Um, you know, the trailer has lots of slow motion stuff and flashback, which is this guy's kind of restoring this painting. And the, you know, the painter always did lots of violent paintings and lots of things dealing with death. And these are kind of the images he's experiencing. Um, but when, I remember when I made Hostel, I actually sat down with uh, my DP and we watched House of the Laughing Windows because I thought the, the way it was photographed, the, the lights, the darks, it's really, it's really a spectacular film. Um, and I love 70s titles where they do kind of a freeze frame like that um, and just see it stylized. But you can tell the fact that these are all in Italian means it was never released in America, but it is now on DVD and you should definitely, definitely check it out.